about your existence. Please. Do a dance. That was terrible. Look like you're enjoying yourself. Time is fleeting, madness takes its toll, but listen closely. Not for very much longer. Sunday. I am very tired. Um, it was a long day. We got there at 11 and we ended up leaving at about 5. It was, it was, it was good. Uh, it was my first con in like three years. The last con I went to was an anime league. Um, in 2019, I think that was like Sheffield or something. Um, so it was really nice to like be out in cosplay in a convention center. You know, people were asking for photos and I loved it. Um, I met so many nice people. If you're 
watching this, the guys that I did the, the cosplay championship with, um, there was this person in like a blue dress, and a person in a red dress, the person in the red dress won, they were gorgeous, and the person in the blue dress did so well, um, everyone was so nice, everyone was really really nice, um, I didn't buy very much stuff, it was all, all the like, stalls were really good, don't get me wrong, but it was a lot of like, OC prints, pronoun badges and i have enough of them <laughs> um but this is the stuff i did get i got this badge it says high roller you can't see but I got this badge because i like dnd i got this two stone because uh, i start college soon so i'm gonna need it it's just like a little ring um green string i am going to put it on but yeah i got that um I bought a mystery bag and it had a Animal Crossing sticker in it. I don't know where I'm gonna put because it was very unexpected. I was thinking about husbandos, but I don't know where I'm gonna put that. It's cute though, I, I do like it, it's cute. And then there was a cosplay masquerade, which was you get 30 seconds to walk on the stage, show off your costume and then walk off. And it could be handmade or bought in any age range. And someone walked on the stage and opened their bag and threw things out. It's Splatoon! They, they made like handmade Splatoon little things. And it's squishy and it had a note on it that said, Take me home and I'll be your best friend. I snatched one of the bags that it was in. I was like, I want one. So yeah, I got one of these. On to the cosplay championship. Um, that was great. I am showing photos here, hopefully, probably. So me and the person I was with, Nyx, we did the time warp from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, they were Metaton and I was CL Phantom Mind. So completely different like medias, completely different characters. But because we're best friends, we're like, we're gonna do it together. We don't care if it makes no sense, we're gonna do it together. There was five people competing in the because it was there was a masquerade, which was like anyone, any age, shop, bought costume, whatever. And then there was like the championship completely handmade your wigs had to be completely styled by yourself you got pre-judged you had to send in photos beforehand to get pre-pre-judged um, there was other cosplayers judging you on like the panel and then you did like a performance like, like a, a skit or like a set so we did the time warp um someone else did like an idol dance um anyway there's, there was five or six of us and we came third and we got a trophy and because there was two of us only one of us got to keep the trophy and my friend let me keep it and i said no you keep it it's fine but they let me keep it and i'm really really happy because i i am so excited i was so happy but it says doki doki festival championship 2022 third <laughs> it's actually quite heavy and it's got the logo of the um the con so yay yay us nix look at us go we did so well yeah we won and Bless the person who actually like won one. I think the prize was like a hundred pounds. The person that won wanted us all to come up on the stage and bow with them. It made me almost cry. It was so sweet. Um, the cosplay thing could have been organized better. We didn't know where we were going. So we went to the con. We were like, we went to the cosplay desk. We were like, do we have to sign up for anything? We pre-signed. What do we need to do? And they were like, right, come back at one for pre-judging so we looked around the car and we bought some things we like watched the demonstrations there was like drumming there was like singing there was idol dancers um so we watched all the talks demonstrations walked around met people took photos and then um we went back for pre-judging pre-judging was um it was awkward i've never done pre-judging before i've never entered the professional one before because uh, my costume is 80 percent handmade i made the jacket i made the shirt i didn't make the boots and i didn't make the hat and i made everything else um or oh, everything else was, like completely altered to how it was when i bought it um but the boots they have like chains and diamonds on them so that's like altered so i class it as pretty handmade in my opinion i'm looking at it from the corners um yeah pre-judging and they were like so what was your favorite part about making it how long did it take to make uh, me and Nick did that. Then after pre judging they were like, okay, come back and fall. So we go back at like 15 minutes before four. I don't know what that is in time. I can't work that out. So we get there and um, they're like, okay, go in a line. So we 
getting like this line. It's me, Nyx, so we're like a duo. And then three other people, I don't, the other person was called Nyx as well. There was a, a person in blue called Nyx, they were very nice. I don't remember the person's name, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, we all got in this line and we were like, no. And then all of a sudden they were like calling us on the stage and we were like, okay there was a catastrophe with our performance that i will try and point out if i can put videos up here um me and nix were meant to stop doing our routine at two minutes on the website it says you get a time slot of two minutes we will stop the song so we rehearsed two minutes and they did not stop the song so we were like oh no oh my god so we had to improvise luckily nix knew the rest of the song and i knew the main bit so we were taking it in terms to do lines. Um, so I was doing magenta voice lines and they were doing Riff Rass voice lines. And then when it, the time came, they did um, Columbia's voice lines and I just did everything else. Um, so it was meant to start after Nyx gets their microphone out and does this. And we both look at each other like, is it? Because we, we were like, well, okay, if they don't stop it, we need to be prepared. So we did kind of prepare, but we really didn't like do choreo, but we choreoed everything. And we were, I was like, I, I shrug, I'm like, and we carry on. And I trip I trip over my train, apparently no one saw it. But I think my boot broke, and I got off stage, and I was like, oh shit, my chain's dangling. Um, but yeah, so then everyone else performed, we were waiting off stage, and the judges did their judgy thing. And then when they brought us all back on stage and they handed us all the trophies. So yeah, this is the first trophy I've ever won. But it's shared with me and Nick, so it's the first trophy me and Nick have ever won. Um yeah, it was a fun time. The artist alleys were set out like so you walk down in a, like a supermarket. It was set out like a supermarket, like aisles. There was a lot of badges, there was a lot of prints, there was a lot of general pastel y, lolita y things. It was really good, it was really fun. Um, we were outside and we got asked to do a segment of a coffee music video for Parsley Leaves on YouTube. So I'm waiting for that to come out, I'm so excited. Um, that's gonna be great when it comes out. I will def I subscribe to them, so I will definitely see that when it comes out. Um, but yeah, all in all, my first con back from. Covid was great. I was just very tired because I forgot how tiring they were, and it was just a lot of waiting around for what you're doing next. But no, it was so much fun. I loved it. It was really, really fun. Um, yeah. So my next con is Huddersfield Comic Con, and that's sometime in September. But I'm starting college, so there won't be videos until then. This is really unexpected. This is a very last minute con decision. Um, so yeah, enjoy this poorly put together piece of shit.